Guess who I just got to spend an hour with sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. God is so good. These opportunities and the doors that God opens are simply amazing. Awesome time with a group of monks telling them about Jesus. Hey everybody, it's Ed. I am in Western Thailand and I just pulled off the side of the road and there's my bike behind me that I've been traveling all over Thailand with. And uh, I thought I'd tell you the story about the monks that I got to minister to. Uh, the little film clip that you saw at the beginning of this, of this vlog. Uh, it's rather interesting. I had, uh, it was a hot day, I'd been traveling a lot, and uh, I was looking for a place, just a nice shady tree where I could relax, drink some water, rehydrate, and uh, you know, do a little praying and, and uh, get ready for the next leg of my trip. And so I just saw a dirt road, went down the dirt road, and uh, there was a cute little lake there which created a nice cool breeze, found a beautiful shady tree, parked the bike and got my water. And uh, next thing I know, here comes all these guys in orange robes, which are the Buddhist monks. And I waved to them, they waved to me, and and uh, they came over and looked at my bike. We got chatting and, and uh, so I just said to them, I said, have you guys heard about Jesus? And the oldest monk, I guess he's the guy in charge of all of them. Uh, he said to me, he said, no, we have heard about him, uh, but we don't know him. Would you like to tell us? And I said, I would love to tell you. And so they said, well, follow me. Have you eaten? I said, no, I haven't eaten. He says, well, come, we'll give you lunch. So I followed them and I guess about a half a mile down around this bend uh, was their monastery. And they brought me in and, and fed me some, some uh, rice and, and steamed vegetables and gave me some water and gave me some nice uh, green tea. And uh, there were a couple of them that spoke pretty good English and one w was my interpreter. And so uh, they allowed me to share with them the gospel. And the older one got up, and who spoke some English as well, and he said, uh, and he must have been in his 70s, my guess is, and he said, we, some of us have heard about a Jesus, but we don't know him, and this man says he knows him, so we have asked him to tell us about Jesus. And so for probably the next 30 minutes or so, I got to share with them the gospel about from creation to the fall to the redemption to the cross and um uh i they wouldn't let me take my camera in there they wouldn't allow me to take any pictures i wish i had it would have been kind of cool if i if they would have allowed that but they they didn't want me to do that and then afterwards the old man said to me he said these 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 words are very interesting he says this is a very interesting concept that uh, we need to think about and he thanked me and uh, they kind of chanted and did some stuff, you know, in their belief in parting a blessing to me. And, and I kind of let them know I was already full of God's blessings. And, uh, and so what you see in this clip where they're walking is he had instructed them that they were to go and I guess there's an area where they go to meditate and to think and to be quiet and that they were to go and meditate upon these things that I had just told them. And uh, you'll see some of them that were walking by, they were smiling at me and uh, uh, I think God touched them and opened their eyes. So that's just one of the unique situations and opportunities that God has uh, presented and given me. Um, I, in a number of my trips, I've had situations like this where I've gone into monasteries and shared the gospel. One monastery in Laos, I gave, uh, I gave them a copy of the Gospel of John, and uh, uh, the one who read English and understood English promised me he'll read it to everybody every night. Um, so uh, who knows what's going to happen. You know, the thing about evangelism that a lot of people need to understand is the Bible talks about there's one that sows seed, there's one that waters seed that's been sown, and that is God gives the 
gives the increase. Now, a lot of people don't understand what that passage means, but it's pretty simple. If you're sharing the gospel and telling somebody about Jesus and they say to you, well, I've never heard this. This is amazing. No one's ever told me this. You're sowing seed. You're planting seed into ground that's never been planted. If someone says to you, you know what, I've got a friend who's been telling me the same thing, then you know right away you're watering seed someone else has planted. And it takes planted seed and watered seed for God to bring forth a, a, a harvest. So whenever I'm ministering and sharing, especially sometimes one-on-one, if I recognize I'm planting seed, then I pray for someone to come and water the seed I planted. If I recognize that I'm watering seed that someone planted, then I ask God to bring the, uh, the harvest. So just figure out where you are in the process and if you're planting, planting, and if you're watering, watering, but then trust God to bring the harvest. Just do your part and it'll all get done. So in this situation, in this situation, I was obviously planting seed because they really didn't know much about Jesus. They kind of had heard a little bit, but they really didn't know him and know about him. And I just had to trust the Holy Spirit that he would give me the words and, and, and communicate it in a way that would touch their hearts deeply. And I believe he did. And uh, I, I got a chance to, at the very end, I asked if I could pray and they allowed me to pray for everybody. And so I just prayed that God would bless them and open their eyes and help them. And, and uh, it was kind of an interesting reaction as I was praying. I, I, I can't tell you what they experienced and what they, only they could. And, and since many of them spoke Thai, uh, they couldn't communicate to me, but I, I could sense in my heart God was doing something. So that's the story about me preaching to the Buddhist monks in Thailand.